Hi, my name is Ming Chao. I've been all over the world. My journey started in Beijing, China. I've always had a thing about being flexible. The feeling of doing things people couldn't made me feel special. Until people started teasing me because I could do things they couldn't. Which really hurt my feelings because at the time I was only five years old. You know, people can be like really harsh. <laughs> Later on August 23rd, 1998, I found myself buying a gymnastics and dance institute in West Des Moines, Iowa. I was very proud once I opened my gym. A little earlier in 1990, I won World Cup in Gymnastics Masters and got a bronze medal in gymnastics, which increased my love for gymnastics even more. I had been offered many coaching jobs but turned them all down. But soon, I was making my own food and chasing after buskies. Then I got offered another coaching job for Men's Iowa University. Five of the boys I coached ended up on national team. People were so impressed with my work, I soon got offered full-time coaching jobs all around the country. Then later, by 2008, I coached Sean Johnson, who vaulted her way to a silver as head coach in the Beijing Games. Soon, I was also getting more coaching jobs all around the country. It started in California, but I didn't like it there. Then I flew to Seattle, but didn't like that much either. Then I went in a complete circle back to Iowa. A long time ago, I was visiting a gym and to get gymnasts worked up, my flight got canceled until the next day, and I had nowhere place to stay. Gabby Douglas and her family happened to let me stay. I left early in the morning to catch my flight. Gabby ended up coming to my gym. I did private lessons with her, and I also did the Junior Olympics. Later, by 2011, I coached Gabby Douglas into the London Olympics. I have also coached Sean Johnson, Gabby Douglas, and Jordan Lieber. As of right now, I am 44, and I am still coaching Gabby Douglas. I still, and we are still learning new things. I have one son named Kevin. My wife's name is Lion Wang, who is also a pro gymnast and works with me on my gymnastics and dance institute. I am also the first Chinese man to win a bronze medal in gymnastics masters. But without me, there wouldn't be any African American Olympian. People would probably be thinking that African Americans can't do it, which they can. Boy, did we prove them wrong. Well, thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank <laughs> you. 